Welcome back to another BRG Speed Spa Moment. Today is a real treat. We're looking at Ray's remarkable, very clean, very precisely done if Shelby Cobra replica. Ray has spent countless hours getting this Shelby replica to look and to run as great as it does. But when Ray stepped back and looked at his beauty, the only thing Ray didn't like about the car was the emergency brake setup. To put it simply, the e-brake the car came with just didn't work. Ray has owned the car for a number of years, and he had just gotten used to not having a proper emergency brake. But there are times when a good working e-brake is a necessity. It would be foolhardy not to have an e-brake when you have this much money on the line. Here are some pictures of the e-brake system the car came with. It was located on the drive shaft back by the differential. It utilized a setup of brake pads and cables that went up to a hand lever e-brake. There was not enough lever action to get the brake pads to apply enough pressure to hold the car in place when activated. The situation we had is that space anywhere on the car is at a premium. As you can see from the pictures with the wheel size and the high performance brakes, there was honestly no room around the wheel for the conventional wheel wood emergency brake caliber. In addition to that, the rotor was thicker than most. Well, situations like this are where the creative minds of BRG get to show off their stuff. We have a reputation for taking 10 pounds of stuff and getting it to fit into a 5 pound bag. Now, once we got past the hurdle of where the e-brake caliper could go, and that was simple, it had to go back where the original, not working e-brake was, back on the drive shaft just in front of the differential. We then had to figure out where to put the caliper in a spot where it didn't hit, rub, or scrape anything. Oh, I forgot the little part where the customer wanted it to be pretty much invisible. Under the car and utilizing the original emergency brake lever, maintaining the stock appearance on the wheels and in the car. To say the least, this was a very cool project. It took a fair bit of head scratching to produce a good plan. We needed to make a new brake rotor that would relocate the caliper behind its original position, but still have it tucked up very close to the drive shaft, still leaving room for the drive shaft safety loop. Now in the middle of all this, Casey was looking at other emergency brake systems. He found out that Wilwood had just come out with a new electric activated emergency brake caliper. This immediately got his attention. He was thinking this might be far easier than using the cable activated Wilwood caliper that usually mounts on the brake rotor. It was a no brainer for us to order the kit. It was much easier working with this than the old cable operated one. This is the SolidWorks drawing of the final BRG Willwood electric emergency brake bracket that went on the car. You can see in the next picture the offset of the brake rotor. With the original brake rotor there was no offset. We had to move the brake rotor position back toward the differential. On the final edition there's about 7 eighths of an inch offset. It took two editions to get it right. Using the offset to move the brake caliper further back towards the differential was the key for this kit working. It gave us the room necessary for the brake pads to have full contact on the rotor. And it gave us better clearance around the drive shaft. Clearance there was extremely close.
This is the prototype BRG brake caliper bracket that we designed to fit the Willwood electric emergency brake caliper. We think it's a very good looking part. It's simple, has the required strength, and it's got enough radius. The mounting bolts are countersunk. We are happy with it. Get out of here. Barbarian. If I could still get it out, I'd say yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's put some bolts, get some nut zerks in there. Here are some random shots of our progress as this project proceeded. We needed to make the brake bracket work around some of the electrical and fuel lines. It would have been too difficult to reroute those. This picture has been hanging off the brake caliper after he actuated it. To say that it clamps down tight is an understatement. Even with moving the brake rotor face back on the differential, we still had to make some room for the drive shaft hub, because when everything was bolted up, it still just lightly touched the drive hub. But just a little work on the belt sander took care of that problem. After we got the emergency brake caliper mounted and all the clearances checked and addressed, the next part of the project was hooking up the electric switch using his stock Cobra emergency brake lever. At first, we were thinking about using the existing linkage to trigger a switch down by the emergency brake caliper. You can see in this picture where we made a little box to mimic a switch box. But we quickly realized we didn't have the room. We needed something much simpler. What could be simpler than just using the emergency brake lever and putting some micro switches on it? Good. Then, to give the lever proper feel, we added a spring to help mimic actuating the cable. Feels like it's got some resistance to it. Yeah. Good. Good deal. You happy with it? I'm happy. You're happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. This is the BRG drawing of the Willwood electric emergency brake caliper bracket. We also needed to find a location for the Willwood emergency control box. This box, when it is switched on, applies power to the stepper motor. That applies the emergency brake pads. When the power is turned off to the stepper motor, this releases the emergency brake yeah, caliper whoa, so the car can now whoa, move. This is the uh, caliper activating and locks up the back end. And that's it deactivating. We weren't sure what was going to happen controlling just one caliper. As it turns out, nothing happened. We were able to cut the extra wires out of the harness and run just one set of wires to the single caliper, which helped simplify things even more. Now you're looking at the actual bracket itself before installation. All in all, pretty simple. Last but not least, we needed a brake light switch indicator. We were able to use an existing light on the dash. It was originally for the alternator. We converted it over to be a brake light switch indicator. This is the Willwood control box for the electric emergency brake calipers. We were able to mount that under the dash, out of the way. Pretty much invisible. Here's a couple of pictures of how the finished install looks. Here's Ray, the owner checking out his new BRG emergency brake kit. We want to give Ben, the BRG technician, a shout out, along with Wilwood, for coming up with this very cool new electric emergency brake. I think the kit turned out great, thanks to the SolidWorks software. SolidWorks was a big help in designing and redesigning the custom parts needed to make this kit work. If you like what you saw, please like us here on YouTube. If you think a kit like this can work for a project you have, Give us a call at 925-680-2560. Remember, all of us here at BRG have a sickness for your quickness. See you next time for another BRG Speed Spa Moment.